This back set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Making his way to the ring from Clearwater, Florida. Weighing 166 pounds, Matt Seidel. Matt Seidel has built a career around high flying, but now has added a new dimension to his game as a submission specialist. It'll be interesting to see how he stacks up against one of his oldest friends and actually former tag team partner in SCU's Christopher Daniels here tonight. SCU! And his opponent, from Southern California, weighing 215 pounds, he is the fallen angel, Christopher Daniels! Wow, Daniels, Big Tyrell Jones, I love it. Christopher Daniels and SCU have had their share of issues with TH2, as you've seen here in the last few weeks on Dark, but Daniels can't afford to look past Matt Seidel. Taz, you've, you've faced a lot of guys that you've teamed with before. Uh, Daniels and, and Matt Seidel were former Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions. What do you have to do? What is your mindset when you're in there with somebody that you have that much history with? Well, next to your point, man, it's uh, what you're alluding to. It's very hard. I mean, it's hard because when you are a partner and you're tagging up with someone and have that success that they've had, you've given up everything you know. You're sharing everything with your with your teammate of what you know how to do, what you do, so you know the guy's strengths and weaknesses. So we'll see here. I, I think you laid it out perfectly regarding Seidel, how he's evolved his game from high flying to mat work. But you're in there with a ring general, so it's tough. Nice strong side headlock into looks like, well, that's control double two hand, two on one right there on the wrist and controlling that arm, but Seidel with a nice roll out of it. Seidel goes through, continuing to focus on the arm of Christopher Daniels. Want to remind everybody that full gear is coming up tomorrow night, Saturday, November 7th, 8 o'clock Eastern. You can order it right now on pay-per-view, BR Live, or Fight TV internationally. Do not want to miss it. John Moxley takes on Eddie Kingston in the I Quit match for the AEW World Championship in our main event tomorrow night. Oh, nice deep arm drags here by Seidel. He's trying to call it down the middle as far as what's happening. Oh, nice small package. Inside cradle, yeah. yeah. Uh, as far as you know, full gear tomorrow night, as you heard what I said on Dynamite. I don't want to get into it right here. We, you know, Anthony's here as our guest. Anthony and I become friends. And you know, I'm a professional. I call down the middle, Anthony. 100%. And Anthony, we talked about how Seidel's game has, has evolved uh, that we've seen recently. How important is that as you know, for a competitor to keep adding new, ooh, new dimensions to their game? Yeah, it's massive. Like, Matt Seidel, he's, he used to be known as a high fly, but now he's a visionary. He's a visionary wrestler, you know? We'll cover here, just a one count. And that's why he points to that, that third eye when he comes down, because he uses the mind games of wrestling better than most people. I mean, he knows he's got to do other things to make up for his, his lack of size. Um, big fan of Matt Seidel. We saw him last week on Dark, and he was he was brilliant beating Lee Johnson, and he's having a good good match so far. Yeah, the thing is with someone like Christopher Daniels, who's just not many guys have more experience than Seidel, but if anyone does, oh look at that nice oh. counter, rolls him up. Oh, right to my point there. If anyone has more experience than Seidel, it would be Daniels. Oh, wow. caught him with the heel right on the bridge of the nose. Drop Christopher Daniels. Powerful kick by Matt Seidel. Yeah, you definitely rocked. He definitely rocked uh, CD right there for sure. Oh! oh! Wow. Cover. Well, the spine is not meant to take strong, powerful round kicks like that. Or oh, the hamstring. That's a, that is a tough one right there. That's rough. Matt Seidel looking to chop down Christopher Daniels. Oof. And as you mentioned, Anthony, Doing a, Seidel doing a good job to neutralize that, that size advantage that Daniels has. He's doing a really good job. Now, they first wrestled 17 years ago, back in 2003. Oh, 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 oh. Love that move. Amazing. Covers, hooks the far leg. Daniels kicks out. It's hard to explain what kind of athlete you've got to be to perform that move. Well, within that, to your point, Anthony, into that small area of height where, you know, Seidel jumps up and how he's able to turn his body and control his body weight. Yeah, at 166 pounds, that's not a lot of weight, but he's ripped, he's chiseled, and the key is, and you notice as, as being a world-class fighter, a boxer, cardio is everything. Mm. And the same thing in our industry, in pro wrestling, cardio, people don't understand how vital that is. And a guy like Seidel has great endurance and cardio. 
Yeah. And it's, um, yes, he is only 166 pounds, but he's, he's got speed. And as oh, they yeah. say in the yeah. fight game, speed kills. Sure, sure. Speed. Oh. Yeah. Another kick across the leg of Christopher Daniels. Part of Seidel's high flying game is, you know, part of the reason why he's so good at high flying is because of those powerful legs. But Daniels using his power advantage there to plant Matt Seidel. Task scale went to 10. How do you rate the suplex? Uh, I, <laughs> I'll give him a, well, I'm friends with CD, so he'll get hot. I'll give him a strong 9.2. 9 oh, uh, yeah, wow, no. very generous. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, no, hey, I made, a, I made a living off that throw, so I, I, you know, it's a nice high collar or some call an exploder. Good job. And Daniels is rolling now. Oh, and steps through with the STO. Dropping Seidel. Oh, big saliva spurt right there. Did you see that? <laughs> That was heavy. Taz calling all the action inside the ring. Couldn't miss it. <laughs> Sits out, Blue Thunder Bomb, one, two, no. It's like he just spewed out a bottle of seltzer. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Wow. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Matt Seidel. Oh, gets dropped down. Daniels in the Koji clutch. Koji clutch, yeah, nasty hold. CD has done this hold. Oh, nice. Foot on the rope, I believe. Yeah, yeah Seidel got his foot on that bottom rope to force the break. Great ring awareness by Matt Seidel. Yeah, Matt Sands ring awareness, same thing. And then you're right, exactly, Excalibur. Nice headbutt. Sure, on your day, Ant. Yeah, do you know what? Uh, do some headbutts. Yeah, your day, right? Yeah, so, is an awful little headbutt. Yeah, I've stuck, I've stuck a cheeky headbutt in now and then, <laughs> mate, in, in, in the tough fight. I bet. But um, for me, being a young professional wrestler myself, it's an absolute honor. Whoa! Oh, 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 wow. wow. To watch stuff like that, but to watch Christopher Daniels, I've been a fan of his for so long. Sure. He's so smooth in the ring. Like, it's, it's an honor. It really is an honor to be here. Oh, oh whoa! Man. Jacked him up. Just planning. Daniels, one, two, no! That's tough. That's a high landing on the back of your skull, upper neck region there. And I was, that was nasty, man. I mean, that was... such, a, such a simple move, but so effective. Yeah, I mean, it shows the toughness of Daniels. Nice, nice roll Covers. here. Covers. Daniels went for that STO one, one too many times. Seidel able to counter it, and again, chopping him down with those kicks to the outside of the thigh. That's the form of teammates right there, as you pointed out, Excalibur, knowing each other's offense. Seidel sent up over the top roundhouse. Staggers Daniels back towards center. Seidel can fly. Matt Seidel uh -oh. was looking for the Meteora, but oh! <laughs> Strong Yoranagi. Look, what, what, what? Th look at this, TH2. I mentioned earlier that, that SCU has had their share of issues with TH2, but that doesn't look like they're making a move towards the ring, but that, that distraction was enough for Seidel to capitalize in a rising knee strike. The roundhouse kick, boot to the midsection, double underhook. Angel's wings reverse oh, a counter. Seidel got him hooked. Three, wow! The winner of this match, Matt Seidel. Anthony, for a veteran like Christopher Daniels to be distracted by TH2, I mean, that, that's a pretty surprising mental lapse. Yeah, he's going to be very angry at himself for doing that. That's, that, that's a novice move, and you'd expect Christopher Daniels to, to be better than that. But going, it's going to take nothing away from Matt Seidel. He was fantastic. He told me earlier he's been chasing Christopher Daniels for 17 years. He's finally got him. Well done, Matt Seidel. Well, yeah, no, I agree, Anthony. You know, Daniels just took the eye off the prize, and, and THQ, they, I mean, they, they, they came out here at the right time to distract him. And I'll tell you, it was perfect. I mean, it was perfect for them. Yeah, timing was everything for TH2, providing the, the distraction. But Matt Seidel, his experience with Christopher Daniels allowed him to anticipate and counter that Angel's wings and pick up the victory here tonight. Sorry about that. A lot of respect right there.